These are synthetic diamonds, the real thing but grown rather than mined. The biggest manufacturer in Europe is in Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, using a technique which mimics nature called HPHT or high pressure, high temperature. It's pretty much the method which just recreates the conditions which are occurring under the earth. We need the temperature around 1500 degrees and uh, pressure which is equal, for example, if you will turn off the uh, Eiffel Tower and put it on your finger, that's the pressure we need. A month later, what is produced is a diamond that can be then polished and put to a variety of industrial uses. Lab-grown diamonds, being optically pure and strong, are still significantly cheaper than the natural versions. They're vital for cutting and machine tools and have a wide range of applications. So they've been used in mostly it's the computer, electronics, optics, uh, medical equipment, uh, air spaceships and um, also I know that for the weapon they also use it. And the military applications are increasingly important to a country at war. High-tech defense companies here are growing rapidly. If we're talking about the defense industry, the first thing I can think of are airspace engines. They used to produce aero and helicopter engines. For helicopters, we also produce so-called hybrid bearings. Synthetic diamonds once carried the stigma of being lab-grown and not the glamour of being found in nature. That's changing as consumers want ethically produced diamonds in their jewellery and industries increasingly want optically pure diamonds that are made to order. Synthetic diamonds might be sold in jewellery shops, but they're vital for industry, especially the defence industry that allows Ukraine to keep fighting. Alex Kotopoulos, Al Jazeera, Kyiv. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.